I recently installed 240 watts of solar on my Tesla, but how have they held up? Oh, it's heavy. In the next few weeks, I am planning to start my journey through Central America. But before I set sail, I want to make sure that these solar panels can withstand some temperature stress. Living out of your car during winter is a different beast, to put frankly. Days are short, temperatures are well below freezing, and rarely does anything go to plan. Wait, 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 wait. If you're new here, hi, my name is Sandro, and I live full time out of this unconventional fat overlanding rig, a Tesla Model X long range. And over the last two years, we have roamed all over North America, even making it as far as Alaska and the Arctic Ocean. As I try to ready myself for my next expedition, how many miles can I extract from the sky during a frigid winter storm? Let's give this a try. Tonight's forecast, one to two to four feet of snow. Yes, you heard that right. It's gonna be exciting because we're gonna be testing our solar modules. Why? Well, it has to do with South America. But first thing first, let's charge up Beluga. But before anything, let's prep Beluga. So last week I was snow camping as well, somewhere in Colorado, and I ended up losing control and crashing beluga so let me just fix that problem with some zip ties my last one too so we better make it count <laughs> fix this because that's the ultrasonic sensor right here there we go nothing that a zip tie can't fix right definitely not my proudest moment there we go Great. And over the last about day or so, I've been charging EcoFlow with pure sunlight, premium juice. And I've been driving, I've been driving a lot actually the last two days or so, uh, about seven, 800 miles, because I have free supercharging and I wanna use those credits before I depart the continent. It's been kind of all over the place with the solar inputs. There's been like 150 watts, 200 watts, to 75 watts but what's really cool it's all been while driving so i don't have to set it up i don't have to think about it all i have to do is look at the sun or make sure car beluga is parked facing the sun and we have instant juice That's the sign that we want to see. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, that could have been bad. Oh. Cheers, yeah, I almost hit it, so. Oh. Yeah, I'm good. I almost hit it, but somebody else honked, so I was like, I'm gonna move them, so. You, Cheers. Yeah, no problem. So I'm actually super grateful that that guy honked at me because FSD was engaged, and I don't think it would have... I intervened because I wasn't sure what was gonna happen there, so... But thankfully, he honked at me, because watch this. The front dash cam, so you have those three trucks coming around the corner, and then this guy honks at me like three times, and this is why. Those are some serious chonkers. Solar charging tomorrow morning would have not happened if I hit one of those for sure. Oh, what a night it's gonna be. <laughs> this is good road karma, hopefully. Let's make sure that we don't get stuck tonight. <laughs> What does that say? Avalanche control work may take place at any time in the area north of Canyon Roads. Roads stay clear of the area when work is likely. <sighs> this should be an interesting night for sure.
the predicted forecast was actually a little less than was expected. Right now, actually, it's starting to snow a lot harder than it was last night. Last night, it was just a little bit like squirrels. Now, it's coming down. I want to keep these tests as real world as possible. So I'm going to be using my EcoFlow just a little bit to make some morning coffee because I cannot function without coffee. You know, guilty. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Yeah, Beluga has had an issue with her sensor on top of the door. So it's, I need to get that taken care of. That's why I think there's an obstacle here, but this is more than enough for these doors to open. What a beautiful day. These are the days that I really live for. That's why I drove six hours to be here, to be in the snow. I think we might actually have to rethink our strategy here today because my whole bedroom is getting soaked with snow right now. <laughs> oh man. So in Dutch we say dweilen met de kraan open, which means you're cleaning, you're trying to dry your faucet. That's not correct. You're trying to clean while, you're trying to dry the ground when the faucet is open. So. Literally, it doesn't make any progress. That's what I'm trying to say. So doing this like this probably doesn't do us very, very good. So right now we have about 96% in our EcoFlow after using it to make some coffee. Zero watts of input. So let's clean the panels and see what kind of solar rays we can catch. Oh, it's heavy. There you go. Bum, 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 bum. And we might have to remove the snow first. This is not going to stay open. Oh. Right. Let's close it. Oh, this is so satisfying. I also feel super, so socially awkward filming right now. <laughs> Mobile adapter, a plug. Oh. There we go. No shoes in the house. <laughs> so first thing first, I'm gonna unplug all the other outlets. Okay, there we go. Including my fridge. And now we have our handy dandy grounder, which is needed with the mobile adapter, otherwise it detects a fault. This is a safety precaution. And now we're gonna plug in the mobile adapter. There we go. It's on, the green light right here. So some of you suggested that I needed some more air ventilation down here. So I do read the comments. So I'm gonna open the hatchback and then I'm gonna remove the subtron cover again so air, cold air can come in so it can cool the battery. And we're gonna lower the amperage as well. So still we're getting about zero watts of input at this moment. I think it might just be because the cloud cover is too thick with the snow. All right, let's give this a try. Okay, it's blinking, it's connecting. Great, we're charging. So right here, I'm gonna, we're at 12 amps. I'm gonna go down to seven, like that. So right now we're about 800 watts of output, still zero watts of input with the solar. It says that it has about two hours worth of battery on here. So for days like this, whether it's very foggy, snowy, super rainy, just mother nature throwing everything at us. What's nice is that because of the solar panels on sunny, sunny days, the EcoFlow is being topped off constantly. So I can cook, I can drive, I don't have to set them up. If it's too windy, it doesn't matter. So that's why I got these. So on my expedition down to Central and South America, I could just drive, 
not have to worry about anything just make sure that the car has some form of sun rays premium juice i call it yeah and it's actually not that cold today it's really nice actually being out here in this winter storm I am keeping a very close eye on the EcoFlow, the temperature. So right now it's about 88 degrees Fahrenheit, which I have no idea what that means. And <laughs> yeah, I'm from the Netherlands and the metric system still makes a lot more sense. But I'll put the number up here. This is what it is in Celsius. And that is actually the number that when I'm cooking is about the same. So I'm not worried about that. It's overheating right now. A few moments later. So the EcoFlow officially stopped charging. If you see right there. So discharge limit is 1%. That's what I've set it at. So now let's go see how much charge we actually gained. This is pretty exciting. It's not directly today with solar, but over the last two days, right? <laughs> so now we have 93 miles. We've gained four miles. Just right there so it's interesting to see now that in theory when the battery ecoflow is at 100 percent i get about four miles of range out of it so that's pretty neat actually but that means that about two miles of range was actually lost to efficiency which is a lot too but if you really think about it if you had to push your your car four miles <laughs> Blue guy's fat, you know? So, yeah, just thinking about that, that's pretty cool. And it's all been harnessed by the sun. Navigate to Mexico. All right, well, here goes nothing. <laughs> 